Duxiga boarding here, Malala, a manu, a manu boarding and a school. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome from Fawaz. This is our probability lessons from a manu online, from a manu online, from a manu e-learning, sorry. And this is lesson five, video lesson five. It is about independent and dependent events. Independent and dependent events. Okay. For dependent and independent events, we will use multiplication rule. Multiplication rule of probabilities. Two events are said to be that they are independent. Independent. If the occurrence of one event does not affect the occurrence of another event. For example, in a bag of five red balls and three green balls, if two balls are selected from the box and after selecting the first ball, it is replaced back and another selection is made. To find the probability of getting two red balls, Probability of getting various red, it is 5 divided by the total. Therefore, the first ball is replaced back into the box. Probability of getting red to the second ball to be red, it is the same as the previous one, it is 5 divided by 8. Therefore, the occurrence of the first event does not affect the occurrence of the second event. Why? Independent events. If the occurrence of one event affects the occurrence of another event, then the two probabilities are dependent events. Dependent events. For example, from this example, if the first ball is not replaced back, the probability of getting a second red ball, it will be 4 divided by 7. The number of red balls will be decreased because it is not replaced back. Okay, let us see here. If we have two events, E1 and E2, E intersection, E1 intersection, E2, this intersection, it means is and. It is the same as probability of getting E1 first, E2 second. This is the probability of getting E1 intersection, E2. From here, we have that probability of getting E1 and E2. It is the same as probability of getting E1 first, Time is probability of getting E2 first, given that E1 has already occurred. That's conditional probability. That is the burden event. Therefore, for the probability of getting the first ball is red. If you are asked to find from here probability of getting first ball red and second ball red, we will proceed like this. Probability of getting first red is 5 over 8. Probability of getting second ball red, it will be 4 divided by 8 because we are told that the first one has already, it was red. And the number of red balls is decreasing. If it is independent events, probability of getting E1, E2, given that E1 has already occurred, is the same as probability of getting E2. Instead of using this one, from here, we will use probability of getting E2. We will use probability of getting E2. Okay, let us take some examples. Look here. This is our uh, from four mathematics book. Example is from uh, from four mathematics book. A bag contains three red balls, three black balls. Here we have given black balls as three, and also we are given two white balls. Also, we have two white balls from the back. We draw two balls one after the other. We select two balls one after the other with replacement. The sec it means that with replacement it, it replacement it means that the second ball is drawn after the first is replaced. First we select one ball, that is the first selection. Then we replace it back to the box, another a second selection is made. We are asked to find the probability of getting the first black and the second ball is black. Look, in here let E1 be the um, black balls. 
and E2 will be the probability of getting that first black ball. Be the probability of getting second black ball. Look, here we are given that we are asked to find the probability E1 as long as we have and its multiplication law. Intersection E2, it is the same as probability of getting E1 first times probability of getting E2. Given that E1 has already occurred. Look, let us check whether it is dependent already or it is dependent already burden. This is a dependent event because the first one is replaced. Therefore, this is the same as probability of getting E1 first times probability of getting E2. We don't need this part as long as we have we have independent events. What is the probability of getting the first ball as black ball? How many black balls do we have? Three. Divided by the total number of balls, which is five. As long as we replace it back the first one, the probability does not change. Therefore, it will be three divided by five. That is the probability of getting two black balls with replacement. Nine divided by 25. Nine divided by 25. Okay, let us proceed to the next example. Look here. Here we have, the, suppose we repeat the experiment in the previous example 24 again, we repeated it. But in this time, the first ball is not replaced back. It is not replaced back. Look, if E1 is the probability of getting the first black ball, first black ball, E2 is the, is the probability of getting second black ball. Second black ball. We want to find the probability of getting E1 and it means intersection E2. This one is the same as probability of getting E1 times probability of getting E2 given that E1 has already occurred. This is the burden events because the first ball is not replaced back. What is the probability of getting the first one? We have black ball is as three, white ball is and and sorry, white ball is we have two. Therefore, probability of getting the first one as black it is three divided by five. Therefore, that ball we are not going to replace it back. We'll put it aside from the box. Therefore. If we have three black balls earlier and we remove one from the box, two black balls left. And the total number of balls is two black balls and two white balls. Therefore, the probability of getting the second ball as black, given that the first one was black. If we multiply the top one, is we have six divided by 20. You can simplify. Dividing by two, it is three. Divided by 2, it is 10. This is the burden events, not replacement. There is no replacement. There is no replacement. Okay. Let us see what, the, what is the conditional probability. Conditional probability is only that the burden events. The burden events. The burden events. We'll use this one. If E2 1 and E2 are two events. The probability of getting E2 occurs is given that E1 has already occurred. We will write like that. Look, in a box we have white polis as 5, red polis as 3. If two polis are removed with a, and from the box without replacement, and we are asked to find the probability of getting R1 first and R2 second, R1, R2, it is the same as probability of getting R1 being read the first time is probability of getting R2 given that R1 has already occurred. That is conditional probability. That's conditional probability. E1 has already occurred. If the occurrence of one or the, or the non occurrence of even E does not affect the probability of E2, or if E1 and E2 are independent events, then for independent events, there is no. If, if it is replaced back, the probability of getting the first one red will be 
the same as the probability of getting red the second red one it is this is illustrated uh, this is extra example how many red ball is we have three divided by eight we want to get another red ball given that the first one has it was red therefore two red ball is left total number of balls is two over seven two divided by seven therefore let's take some example it's about conditional probability conditional probability this is example one a box contains three red and two black balls one ball is thrown at randomly from the box and not replaced it is not replaced back find the probability that the first ball is red and the second ball is black look here we are asked to find the probability of getting various red and second black b2 it is the same as probability of getting red first times probability of getting second black given that r1 has already occurred how many red ball is we how many red ball is we have three the total number of ball is was five in this case we want to select another uh, ball from the back but the first one will not be replaced back therefore how many black ball is we have two given that the red one has already occurred it decreases the number of possible ways if you multiply the top one is 6 divided by 20 then simplify and you have 3 over 10 3 divided by 10 for this one a die is rolled and a coin is tossed those are independent events because the probability of getting 6 on a die it does not affect the probability of getting heads on a tail and heads on a cone we are asked to find the probability of getting 3 and a tail Therefore, if E1 is the probability of getting 3 and E2 is the probability of getting tail, probability of getting E1, E2, it is independent event. Therefore, we will use probability of E1 times probability of E2. Okay, what's the probability of getting 3 on a die? It is 1 over 6. Probability of getting head on a coin, it is 1 over 2. That is 1 over 12. That's 1 divided by 12. This is question 3. A bag contains 3 red, 4 blue, and 3 white balls. Three, four, we have 3 red, 3 red balls. We have 3 red, 4 blue, and 3 white balls. Three balls are thrown at randomly. A ball is selected and then again another one is selected and a third one is selected. One after the other. We are asked to find the probability of getting red, red ball on the first, blue on the second throw and throw and white on the third throw. If each ball thrown but it is replaced back as long as there is a replacement that is independent events independent events number b roman 2 without replacement that will be dependent events dependent events let's do number c let us do number c let us do number c okay for c for C, what are we given for C from here? We have three red, four blue, and three white. Three red, four blue. We will do it uh, this year. Solution. Number C, we are given three red balls, four white balls, and three blue balls. Three blue balls three blue balls three blue so let us check the question yes oh, sorry three red four blue and three white sorry four blue and three white this is blue this one it is blue sorry and this is white you have blue and this is white three balls are selected one after the other that is E1, this is E2, this is E3. 
a room and one eye we are asked to find the probability of getting e1 intersection e2 intersection e3 this one is the same as probability of getting e1 first times probability of getting e2 given that e1 has already occurred times probability of getting e3 given that e1 and e2 has already occurred but as long as it is replaced back this is the burden difference and we will use probability of e1 times probability of e2 times probability of e3 what is the probability of getting red ball from here it is 3 the total it is 10 second to be blue it is 4 over 10 the total does not change because replacement is made the third one it is 3 over 10 if you simplify this one this number by 2 sorry by 2 it is 2 by 2 it is 10 uh, sorry it's 5 it is 5 this one is 5 this is 10 sorry this is 4 divided by it let me write it again let me write it again this is 4 divided by 10 we can simplify by dividing if you divide this number by 2 it is 2 divided by 2 we have 5 the answer it is 3 over 10 times 3 sorry times 2 over 5 times 3 over 10 if we multiply these numbers 3 times 2 times this one we have uh, that's 3 times okay by 2 1 by 2 5 3 times 3 is 9 divided by 250 that's the probability of getting th and first one red second white second blue and third white number roman 2 roman 2 there is no replacement there is no replacement in this case if there is no replacement we have probability of getting e1 e2 e3 that's intersection in this case there is no replacement we will use this formula probability of getting first red is 3 over 10 but it is not replaced back the second one to be blue we have four blue but the total number of balls is nine because red ball is left we remove the red ball from the box we have the third ball to be white we have three but the total number of balls is three is eight let us simplify this one if we simplify by three one by three three by three one by three one by four one by four two we have one times one times one from the top from the bottom we have 10 times 2 which is 20 that is the probability of getting the first one red the second one blue and the third one to be white ball that is the conditional probability it is conditional probability in this case this, this is the first ball it is 3 over 10 the second ball it will be probability of getting blue second given that the first one was red therefore the total should be decreasing this one is the probability of getting the third white given that e1 and e2 has already occurred e1 and e2 has already occurred it means the total number of balls should be decreasing it is 3 over 10 4 over 9 3 over 8 if we simplify this one we have 1 divided by 20 1 over 20 okay and we will stop here assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh